हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू अवर चैनल इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द ब्लैक स्पेस एंड सम एग्जांपल्स ऑफ ब्लैक स्पेस इन टूडेज वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस सम मोर एग्जांपल्स ऑफ ब्लैक स्पेस लाइक एल इन्फिनिटी स्पेस एंड एल पी स्पेस एग्जाम्पल प्रूव दैट एल इन्फिनिटी ऑफ ऑल बाउंडेड sequences of scalars is a Banach space proof L infinity is the space of all bounded sequences of scalars. let x m be any sequence that is x m belongs to l infinity let x norm is equal to supremum of x i i modulus i varies from 1 to infinity we prove that L infinity is a black space with this norm. First, xi i modulus is always greater than or equal to 0 for every i. This implies supremum of modulus of xi i for every i is greater than or equal to 0. This implies norm of x is greater than or equal to 0 for every x is belongs to L infinity. let norm of x is equal to 0 then supremum of modulus of x i i for each i is equal to 0 this implies x i i its modulus is equal to 0 for every i this implies x i i is equal to 0 for every i this implies x is equal to 0 so if norm of x is equal to 0 then x must be equal to 0 put it equation number 1 
Conversely, x is equal to xi1, xi2, xi3 and so on is equal to 0, then xi i is equal to 0 for every i. This implies xi i modulus is equal to 0 for every i. This implies supremum of modulus of xi i is equal to 0 for every i. This implies norm of x is equal to 0 for every i. Thus, if x is equal to 0, then norm of x is equal to 0. Put it equation number 2. From equation 1 and 2, we have norm of x is equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to 0. Second, let x, y belongs to L infinity. That is, x is equal to xi1, xi2, xi3 and so on, y is equal to neta1, neta2, neta3 and so on. Now, norm of x plus y is equal to supremum of modulus of xi i plus neta i which is less than equal to supremum of xi i modulus plus neta i modulus which is equal to supremum of xi i modulus plus supremum of neta i modulus which is equal to norm of x plus norm of y. Thus, norm of x plus y is less than equal to norm of x plus norm of y. So, triangular inequality property is satisfied third norm of alpha into x is equal to supremum of modulus of alpha xi i which is equal to supremum of alpha modulus into xi i modulus which is equal to modulus of alpha into supremum of xi i modulus which is equal to modulus of alpha into norm of x. So, L infinity 
satisfies all the properties of norm linear space so l infinity is a normed space now we have to prove that l infinity is a complete space that is every cauchy sequence in l infinity is a convergent sequence let x n be any cauchy sequence in l infinity so for given epsilon greater than 0 there exists a positive integer n not such that norm of xm minus xn is less than epsilon for every m n greater than or equal to n naught. This implies supremum of modulus of xi i m minus xi i n is less than epsilon for every m n greater than or equal to n naught this implies xi i m minus xi i n its modulus is less than epsilon for every m n greater than or equal to n naught put it equation number 1 hence for each i the sequence xi i 1 xi i 2 xi i 3 and so on is a Cauchy sequence of scalars that is in R or C where R is the set of real numbers and C is the set of complex numbers but we know that r 
and C are complete norm linear spaces therefore xii1 xii2 xii3 is a convergent sequence which converges to xii belongs to r or c that is xii i M is converging to xi i as M tends to infinity. Let x is equal to xi one, xi two, xi three, and so on. we have to prove that x belongs to l infinity x n is equal to x i i n tends to x i i as n tends to infinity because by equation 1 so x i i m minus x i i its modulus is less than epsilon for every m is greater than or equal to n not put it equation number 2 as xm belongs to l infinity that is xm is equal to xi im So there exists a real number Km such that xi i m its modulus is less than or equal to Km for every i. Now xi i modulus is less than or equal to xi i minus xi i m plus xi i m modulus which is less than or equal to xi i minus xi i m plus modulus of xi i m which is less than epsilon plus k m because by equation two and 3 
this implies modulus of xi i is less than km plus epsilon for each i so right hand side is independent from i therefore xi i is a bounded sequence of scalars this implies xi i belongs to l infinity that is x is equal to xi i belongs to l infinity now norm of x n minus x is equal to supremum of modulus of xi i n minus xi i which is less than epsilon for n is greater than equal to n not this implies xn converges to x thus the sequence xn is a convergent sequence in l infinity so l infinity is a complete normed space so l infinity is a Banach space. Next example. Prove that LP space is a Banach space. proof let x belongs to lp then x is equal to xi i is equal to xi1 xi2 xi3 up to so on of scalars such that modulus of xi1 raised to power p plus modulus of xi2 raised to power p plus so on is convergent for p is greater than equal to 1 that is summation xi i raised to power p is less than infinity let norm of x 
is equal to summation i varies from 1 to infinity xi i raised to power p whole raised to power 1 by p. We have to prove that LP is a norm linear space. First, xi i modulus is greater than or equal to 0 for every i. This implies xi i modulus raised to power p is also greater than or equal to 0 for every i and p greater than or equal to 1. This implies summation i varies from 1 to infinity modulus of xi i raised to power p is greater than or equal to 0. This implies summation i varies from 1 to infinity modulus of xi i raised to power p whole raised to power 1 by p is greater than or equal to 0. This implies norm of x is greater than or equal to 0 for every x is belongs to LP. Now, let norm of x is equal to 0. This implies summation i varies from 1 to infinity xi i raised to power p whole raised to power 1 by p is equal to 0. This implies summation i varies from 1 to infinity modulus of xi i raised to power p is equal to 0 for fixed p greater than or equal to 1. This implies modulus of xi i raised to power p is equal to 0 for every i and p greater than or equal to 1. This implies xi i is equal to 0 for every i. This implies x is equal to xi 1, xi 2, xi 3 and so on is equal to 0. Hence, if norm of x is equal to 0, then x must be equal to 0. Put it equation number 1. Let x is equal to 0, then xi 1, xi 2, xi 3 and so on is equal to 0. This implies xi i is equal to 0 for every i. This implies modulus of xi i is equal to 0 for every i. This implies modulus of xi i raised to power p is also equal to 0 for every i. This implies summation i varies from 1 to infinity modulus of xi i raised to power p is equal to 0. This implies summation i varies from 1 to infinity xi i raised to power p whole raised to power 1 by p is equal to 0. This implies norm of x is equal to 0. So, if x is equal to 0 then norm of x is equal to 0. Put it equation number 2 from equation 1 and 2 we have 
norm of x is equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to 0. Second, let x y belongs to LP. Norm of x plus y is equal to summation i varies from 1 to infinity modulus of xi i plus neta i raised to power p whole raised to power 1 by p. This implies norm of x plus y is less than equal to summation i varies from 1 to infinity xi i raised to power p whole raised to power 1 by p plus summation i varies from 1 to infinity neta i modulus raised to power p whole raised to power 1 by p by mean quasi inequality this implies norm of x plus y is less than equal to norm of x plus norm of y so triangular inequality property is satisfied third norm of alpha into x is equal to summation i varies from 1 to infinity alpha into xi i its modulus raised to power p whole raised to power 1 by p which is equal to alpha modulus raised to power p into summation i varies from 1 to infinity xi i modulus raised to power p whole raised to power 1 by p which is equal to alpha modulus into norm of x thus lp satisfies all the properties of normed linear space thus L infinite P is a normed space now we shall prove that LP is a complete space that is every Cauchy sequence in LP space is convergent sequence. So let XM be a Cauchy sequence in LP where xm is equal to xi 1m xi 2m 
xi 3m and so on then for given epsilon greater than 0 there exists a positive integer n not such that norm of x m minus x n is less than epsilon for every n m greater than or equal to n naught. This implies summation i varies from 1 to infinity modulus of xi i m minus xi i n raised to power p whole raised to power 1 by p is less than epsilon for every n m greater than or equal to n naught this implies summation i varies from 1 to infinity modulus of xi i m minus xi i n raised to power p is less than epsilon raised to power p for every n m greater than or equal to n naught and p greater than or equal to 1. It follows that for each i is equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on, we have xi i m minus xi i n, its modulus is less than epsilon for every m n greater than or equal to n naught thus for a fixed i the sequence xi i 1, xi i 2, xi i 3 and so on is a Cauchy sequence in R and C but we know that R and C are complete spaces. Therefore, the sequence xi i 1 xi i 2 xi i 3 and so on is a convergent sequence in R or C let xi i m converging to xi i as m tends to infinity so we define x 
is equal to xi1 xi2 xi3 and so on we shall show that x belongs to lp and xm converging to x for all m n greater than equal to n not we have summation i varies from 1 to infinity xi i m minus xi i n modulus raised to power p is less than epsilon raised to power p for every n m greater than equal to n naught. This implies summation i varies from 1 to k modulus of xi i m minus xi i n raised to power p is less than epsilon raised to power p for every n m greater than equal to n naught k is equal to 1 2 3 and so on put it equation number 3 letting n tends to infinity we get summation i varies from 1 to k xi i m minus xi i raised to power p is less than epsilon raised to power p for m is greater than or equal to n naught letting k tends to infinity in above equation we have summation i varies from 1 to infinity modulus of xi i m minus xi i raised to power p is less than epsilon raised to power p this implies summation i varies from 1 to infinity xi i m minus xi i raised to power p whole raised to power 1 by p is less than epsilon for m is greater than equal to n naught and p greater than equal to 1 this implies norm of xm minus x is less than epsilon for m is greater than equal to n naught this implies xm converging to x thus the Cauchy sequence xm in lp is a convergent sequence in lp therefore lp is a black space it is sufficient for today in the next video we will discuss some properties and results based on black space so keep in touch watch our videos and subscribe our channel 
for more videos on these topics. Thanks to all. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.